the nice things about being here right now is you can uh, just walk down to the beach and spend the day in the beach. Sometimes what can happen is, especially if you're out of anchor for a long time and you're not moving, the boat swings around so much that it starts to put a twist in the chain and that can work all its way back um, up the chain and eventually when it gets to the um, where the road connects to the chain, if you have part road, part, part chain, then that all bunches up down there and it's very, very hard to undo, especially when you're back out at anchor. I mean, we have five, we have, we have 240 feet of chain and then about another 100 to 150 of, of road. I haven't actually measured the road part out. And then we have a 45 pound rock now anchor and in the main that's been it's been pretty pretty good for everything that we've wanted but I wanted to take out this part where we're basically trying to stop this twisting of the the actual chain as the anchors coming up and down and as we're swinging um, and one way to do that was to install one of these so this is a Mantis S1 swivel and it's, it's pretty sturdy so um, I'm going to be installing that today.
instructions are pretty cool um, in that they, they actually show you the either a 3D or photograph of everything. Um, but I think there could have been a bit more words to describe what you needed to do. And um, yeah, so yeah, not bad. So sometimes you gotta help other boats, huh? Since someone did not tell me they had a cricket, I don't Oh actually... no, I think someone told you multiple times. You just well, forgot. I did. You did not? I'm, no, I'm pretty no. sure you did. No, I didn't. I know, I've told them at least once or twice. Did you tell me or did you tell Anna? Uh, both. You must have been doing that on a day when they were, we were having sun hours, because I don't remember that. It's that damn accent. <laughs> I thought you said, let's go play cricket. <laughs> You know with putting it there, when you've got the boom out, it'll rub against your stop, lines. Stop, stop, stop. What? Stop, it, when stop. the boom comes, and it, it'll rub against the lines. Stop, stop getting close. I just said you can't see the wrinkle from a distance. Yes. Steven, so how did you get the bubbles out of ours? Just kept pushing it. Well, maybe I need to push a different direction because I'm pushing the long way. Well, the other option is is to put a pinprick in it. Okay. No, don't do that. It's a bad idea. <laughs> Fix this. Who wants that acting like weird? Oh, got it. See, I told you sometimes it'll just pop right out, and then sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's kind of weird. Did it not get out from below? Hmm, nope, it ripped. Ooh, sorry. Alright, I'm gonna hold this out so it doesn't go against. Babies are what? Big. Babies are egg? Grow up How can the babies be egg? They just are. Human, not all babies. What babies are Human egg? babies. Human babies are egg. Right, but baby birds that throw up in their parents' mouth are okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's better. Monster's better. Monster's better? It is better. It is apparently, I don't apparently so. Mountain Dew has more caffeine in it than most energy drinks. Yeah, that's true. Well, maybe. So you're going to try Monster? I'm trying it because my friends have told me to. This, this is kind of a major thing, isn't it? It is major because if you like it, you'll yeah, get it. Yeah, it won't go through until it's just that. Pull up. It'll, it'll just store all my information. <laughs> yeah, but are they dates? If it's a palm tree, probably. So this is a first, right? Yep. I fall into the stakes of peer pressure. Peer pressure? <laughs> yeah. I can't get it open. Can you open this? So, who peer pressured you into My trying? friends. What friends? Tell your dad. Like, Which friends in particular? Jay, oh, that's Sophia, all that. Name them out, Andy. So say their name to me in the video of who pressured you into this. Look right there and tell dad. Andy, Sophia, all of them. Go on then. Alright, it smells weird. Likes it. Just drink it. Yeah. It's not terrible. It's not bad. See? Like, it's not terrible. Try this way. It's not bad. That like, one's it tastes worse like than candy, that, to be honest. Huh? No, the candy Red Bull might taste That one tastes worse than that one. No, the Red Bull might taste better. I'm not a fan of that one. <laughs> See, like the other one better. It's better, but I don't okay, yeah. prefer it. Dragon fruit. No, you should try the the nectarine one. It's better. Or strawberry. Apple. So are you gonna start drinking monsters from now? No idea. Just she'll drink it. She'll get used to it. Drink the monster first, and then save the dump for yeah. later. Oh. Whew. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that was a little bit of a shock to the system. A bit colder. Huh. Yeah, I won't be swimming in there anytime soon. What are you working on? Uh, history. What kind of history? The Middle Ages and the Renaissance. So what particular thing are you learning right now? Who about and what about? Just some people that... Which people? How do you pronounce that name? Let's have a look. Those people I don't know. Charlemagne and Boniface Augustine. Yeah. What are you working on? Bible. Yeah? What are you learning in the Bible study? The meaning of Psalms. The meaning of Psalms? Yeah. You liking it? No. <laughs> what are you working on? I'm working on world geography. And what in world geography? Settlement and movement. Settlement and movement. Mm -hmm. And what does that entail? Uh, it just, it's really just multiple choice. Well, that's the test, but what's the actual subject? So how can you do the test without knowing what you... Quizlet is a very good resource. So we were using Switched On School. And then we found out that um, basically they weren't going to support it anymore. And so they moved us all over to Monarch, but you have to have an internet connection for Monarch. And um, there are a couple of things that we like about it. It's kind of nice having all the kids in one place um, so that we can see what's going on, reassign subjects and things like that. The only thing I don't like about Monarch is I can't get a attendance report out of it. We've literally got to make one up from um, doing the daily work report and then going in and counting off the, the, the days for each month. So, um, and then we back up everything with other things like marine biology, learning how to fix an engine and all that kind of thing. So uh, that's how we keep the kids occupied on the on, on, I want to sit on the bus, but on the boat. So what are your questions? I want to know, okay, so we were using that Switched On Schoolhouse stuff, and because they discontinued it, and we had, our, we had paid for it, they gave us this year's stuff for all three kids for free, right? So next year we have to buy it. I don't know if they gave us, like, what they gave us is that exactly how it is, or like with the previous one we could choose what subjects the kids got. Oh you can still choose what subjects. Um because I would like to change for one what some of the subjects they're getting. I would like to with the old stuff we could custom like I could add in assignments and take out assignments. I can take out assignments here but I haven't found how to just add in custom assignments. I would also like to be able to say we're gonna do less spelling for this semester and more library time so how could i don't know how i can adjust that in the system other than going in and just manually taking out assignments and then if you manually take out some assignments it prevents future assignments it locks them up yeah so i would like to know if there's some adjust i, I don't know i like the software i have some issues i would like to fix Cool. So what are you doing? I am trying for the third time ever to use my new drawing tablet that I paid for myself, which was over two hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, and so why? Are you, what is this? So you see, what happened was I put this cord in the wrong cable on my school laptop and my school la laptop went boom and so now we're using your laptop which is incredibly old. So this is not my current laptop. This is your very very old editing laptop. It is the slowest laptop I've ever used. <laughs> that I haven't probably used in like maybe four years. Mm -hmm. It has a bigger screen than your old one. It's got a massive screen. So. How did you do homework today? I used your laptop. Not this one, but your actual laptop. Did it move faster than your laptop? It was alright. I know you didn't like the keyboard, but... The, 
my muscle nerves all janked up because of it. So, um, how's this laptop? <laughs> Sometimes it will just decide that the key I'm pressing was not pressed. Because it's very old. So what lessons did we learn? I want to do anything electrical. He's got to do it. <laughs> Who's got to do it? You got to do it. Who being who? You, Dad. Because otherwise, you're Louie. <laughs> <laughs> so, accidents happen. Mm -hmm. We don't plug anything into our laptop that Dad doesn't approve. Uh-huh. And we read directions before we plug things in. Mm -hmm. So now everything is labeled. <laughs> tablets, so tablets. So put labels on everything. And we will try again. And laptop and laptop. Mm -hmm. And then the cables are all taped together so you can't possibly plug them on either yeah. side. Yeah. But on the outside, your tablet didn't blow up. Yeah. I mean, I guess your laptop didn't blow up, but it did fry it. Yeah, it, it got deep fried, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, stuff happens. Anyway, have fun. Yeah.